Hello, good morning. My name is Peggy Sai from Big ID. Today, I will be talking about AI-powered data discovery for building a modern data governance program. Before I joined Big ID a year ago, I was in your position where I helped to run and operationalize data management programs. I worked mainly in the financial services industry. My most recent role was in Morgan Stanley, where I helped operationalize their data governance program for wealth management. I also worked on other regulatory and business initiatives that focused on understanding their critical data elements, ensuring data remediation, and monitoring for data quality. I also recently co-authored the AI book that was published last year in May 2020. So a lot of the things I'll be talking about today is based on my experience as a data steward in working in various financial industries and the complexities that we, I personally felt when building out and um, broadening our data governance program. So when we talk to customers today, and even based on my experience, the main challenges with data governance is finding your data, knowing where your data is, and being able to understand the quality of that data. Now, many organizations, I like their data sources, I like to see it as a, an iceberg. Um, it, the iceberg that's above the water is normally uh, much smaller than what's actually beneath the water. And the iceberg that's on top of the water is the known data sources that's in your organization, that's inventoried and cataloged. And that's mostly the structured data. And that's what a lot of your technology teams and data management teams are, are working with, are able to understand because it's all inventoried and cataloged. But what about the data that resides underneath the water? And that's where a lot of the risks lie because the data that's not known is oftentimes uh, provides a, a larger risk to your organization. Um, these are most uh, oftentimes unstructured data, dark data, data that hasn't been um, labeled or classified or fully understood. And the reason why it's difficult to understand this is just because of the mass uh, uh, quantity of, of this data. And really the sheer amount of resources it's really gonna take to find and identify that data. But there's really an opportunity here, not just a challenge, but an opportunity to really be able to break down the silos of the data whether it's within organization or whether it's data that's just not um, been used, is to bring it all together into one cohesive data governance program and management, managing it for all business purposes. Now, the way that technology companies today um, and technology teams traditionally find data is you know, based on um, you know, writing a code, writing a query to extract and find that data. And again, that's really very simple when it comes to data that's, um, you know, known in a structured format. Um, but again, the challenges and the risks are with where the data is more in a document form or it hasn't been um, fully classified yet. Um, when we talk to customers on um, you know, finding their critical data or their sensitive data you know, across all their data sources, um, they rely on uh, these tr traditional approaches uh, to finding the data. Um, in addition to querying data um, in a straightforward manner, um, there are other techniques that are used in the marketplace today to find the data, whether it's um, through patterns, um, for example, a, a credit card number has a, a specific pattern in the sequence of the numbers. Um, regular expression is, is another way to um, find things like um, uh, locations and, um, you know, for an address, uh, the, the, the city, state, zip code, things like that. Um, and another approach um, as a former data steward is really building out um, a data dictionary uh, that helps find the data. Um, this involves uh, manually uh, tagging that data and being able to put labels in it. Again, um, these are very time intensive, resource intensive activities in order to um, put the metadata to, to describe your actual data. Um, you know, there's 
various levels of categories in regards to uh, the risk level, um, the usage level, and actually the content level. So um, these are many manual approaches to tagging the data. Now, when I think about a data governance program, which is uh, usually led by a chief data officer, and many organizations have a chief data officer today, um, the way they run their program, uh, whether or not they're, whether they're looking at, you know, their data quality or their business uh, glossary assets or their data issues, they normally have to go to different applications um, to see this information. Again, it's, uh, it's disjointed. It leads to an ability, inability to really make a decision and understand the health of the entire data organization. So what's lacking today is, you know, what I call a control center, a comprehensive data dashboard that can really bring together the aspects of a, a catalog, a data quality um, and remediation issue, data issues into one singular place in order for the chief data officer and the data teams um, to gain the right ins insights into their data and also to take the right actions. Now I'm gonna be talking about some of the parts of a data governance program that I myself have personally been involved in, in the past. And um, data catalog, um, people sometimes call this a business dictionary, a data dictionary, or um, a precursor to an inventory. So it's really a single place or a listing of all the data assets that you an organization has across um, their, their their landscape. Um, this can include um, you know the business name, the definition, and also identify the actual location of this data. And that's really important as part a of a, a data governance team to understand. Not only do you know what you have in terms of your logical data assets, you also know where it resides as well. Now this single view of data that I think a lot of organizations really looking to build involves collaboration. Um, mainly these are uh, folks called with the title of data steward that works to collaborate, to integrate, um, you know, enrich these um, logical assets and really bring more value to the data because they're enriching the data, they're providing um, more um, context into how the data is actually used in a business sense. So all that information and knowledge should be um, collected and documented in a single place. Another big component of a data governance program is data quality. And sometimes um, people see this as the most important uh, component. And the reason is it's very measurable. It's the most visual part of seeing the progress of a data governance program. So whether it's trends or seeing the data quality score um, increase or decrease or change, it really gives something actionable for the chief data officer and the data team to, to take action on. So data quality and being able to see that holistically is, is very important.